welcome to Florida Fishy Finger. In today's video, we're going to fly around and look at some very hungry jack, ladyfish, I think redfish, and snapper, mangrove snapper. And we're also going to talk about the top four lures, or lure categories that I recommend. Now, all of these lures that I'm going to recommend are lures that I've either used and own or am planning on purchasing, but I'll tell you about that. And by the way, the links to all of the things I talk about in this video are in the description. Go ahead and look there if you'd like to see more about the things I talk about. So look at these jack annihilating glass minnows, just vaporizing them. Which brings us to my fourth category of lures, which you should have a collection of, and that's topwater plugs. And I showed some some categories here, which were excellent. The red and white. Oh, look at that. Are those redfish? Couldn't tell from the drone exactly. But I think they might be big redfish swimming just a little bit deeper. Not sure if they would come up and gobble up one of those head and topwater baits I just showed. But if they're there... I'm going to want to have a collection of those to throw from because depending on the light, I might choose a different color. I've used the red and white quite a bit with success. This is really the dream scenario for showing up with those topwater heading baits. Pull it across the top and just get incredible strikes from the jack and ladyfish that are in here. This looks almost like a collection of smaller jack. But you can tell me... So number three, hard twitch baits. Yeah, so I was looking around because, you know, I end up spending a lot of money on like Rapala-like lures. I go to Walmart, it's like $8 or in that neighborhood to get them, and I have a limited selection. So I was looking around on the internet, and I found that collection there, and uh, I was impressed to see it was like, I think it was like $12, but yeah, who knows, prices change. But then you have a collection of hard baits at different sizes that are inexpensive so if you lose them or whatever it's not a problem I like to be able to show up at a place and say what kind of bait is around these jack are destroying glass minnows clearly but I think there's greenies in the area too and I'm sure there's mullet or two around I picked a, a small Rapala and pulled it through those fish you're gonna get them every time but you could almost pull a bottle cap with a hook on it through those fish and get one twitch baits are definitely good for fishing around the mangroves fishing out on the flats so I like them they're diverse you know and the idea with this top four video that I'm doing today I was thinking like what would I if I had to just buy four things you know, what would I get and here's the second most valuable, in my opinion, is the popper. And if you'll notice as these birds splash down that the fish sometimes will go to that area. This is a natural kind of uh, trigger for these predatory fish, which is the splashing. You pull that cork and it pops. And those last lures I showed were just soft bait shrimp lures. And there's like a pack of them for yeah, not much money available as a collection there. And this is how I'm going to start getting my fishing gear from now on because I found I go to these these outlets and in person and they don't have what I want they don't have the variety it's more expensive and uh, so now I'm transitioning over to actually having exactly what I want to fish with by getting my items online that's just my personal plan you may have a better outlet I am going to make the transition. Now look at how the shade of these palm trees interacts with this situation. These glass minnows are retreating to that. <laughs> and it's not working. So number one, if I was stranded on a desert island, I want this. Uh, it's a collection of spoons. Again, you go buy spoons at a store. I don't know, three or four dollars a piece at the store. You, know, you can get a huge box of them like this. It was like 20 bucks. You know, like I said, it could change. But let's say it was 
30 bucks, it would still be a great deal. So I'm going to, that's on my wish list. I don't have that yet, but I sure have bought a lot of Johns and Spoons from Walmart. And they all trusty and they all end up going in the trash. So I think the way to go is to get them bulk, personally. I'm going to give that a try. See if it works out. You see those ladyfish up in that shade area? Yeah. They swim like snakes. The whole body turns. So thanks for watching. Florida Fishy Finger. If you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe. We talk about micro skiffs and our adventures out into the ocean and the river. Please subscribe. Please click on the links in the video.